Game hunters are celebrating a Trump administration policy change while animal rights activists are pure furious. The Fish and Wildlife Service Service will allow hunters to bring so-called elephant trophies from Zambia and Zimbabwe into the U.S. The Obama administration had banned imports of ivory tusks and other elephant parts. Don Daler is here with the decision and the growing argument over conservation. Don, good morning. Good morning. The African elephant is classified as threatened under the U.S. Endangered Species Act. Both sides in this debate say they're committed to protecting the species. One by using hunting to raise money for conservation, the other by stopping elephant hunting altogether. Elephants are among Africa's most social and intelligent wild animals, but they're now in the crosshairs of an international debate over their very survival. In a statement, U.S. Fish and Wildlife says legal, well-regulated sport hunting puts much-needed revenue back into conservation. The organization says several factors led to the reversal of the Obama-era policy, arguing that Zimbabwe is now better able to manage its hunting quotas, track revenue from hunters going to conservation efforts, and monitor how that money is spent. Frankly, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed but the administration. Critics say the move will harm already endangered elephant populations. This announcement is a great travesty for elephants. As I think most people know, we're in the midst of a poaching crisis. Elephant populations across Africa are declining. The Great Elephant Census counts the animals from the air. In a report released last year, the organization said the number of elephants on the African continent declined by 30% between 2007 and 2014. In Zambia, the population has largely remained stable. But in Zimbabwe, the population has declined 6% over the same period. That African nation is now struggling with political unrest, leading to additional concerns for conservation efforts. Here you have a government in the midst of a coup. At the same time, the Trump administration is saying, we trust in and have faith in the Zimbabwe government to manage its elephants. There couldn't be a worse timing for this decision. The move was applauded by hunting groups, including Safari Club International. U.S. Fish and Wildlife says it will request annual reports on this elephant plan, including the budgets on how much money is going to elephant management and preventing poaching. Charlie.